Hello everyone, today I'll be sharing with you about how to animate plots in MATLAB. Plot animation is very useful in visualizing how data changes over time. And it can also be used to record a movie in frames to be displayed or replayed later. You can obtain a frame using the getFrame function and display the frames using the movie function. This tool allows you to play the recorded frames for a specified number of times at a specified FPS. To understand how the two functions getFrame and movie work, we will first animate a 2D plot. Here we have a simple sine and cosine wave over 2 pi, and the goal is to animate the plot to display changes in the y value over time. The data is generated using a loop to plot a point at each time frame. To animate this, we will first start by initializing the movie struct array with C data and color map. The struct stores the image data of a recorded frame as an image, and with an array of these images, we have a movie. Here, I will specify to hide the figure during the recording stage by setting F visible to off. Now, during each loop of the plotting, we can use getFrame to record the current image of the figure into the M array that we previously initialized. After the loops are all ran, we will set F visible back to on and then use movie to display the recorded frames. Now we can hit run and see a playback of our recorded frames. Simple, right? Now that we have a better understanding of how to use the two functions getFrame and movie, we can animate more interesting plots such as 3D plots. Here we have a script for plotting the planets in the Milky Way at a given time step. The script starts by calculating the orbital parameters for each planet and then plots them on a figure. Here's what it looks like when I hit run. Now, with a few modifications, we can animate the planets in motion. We can use a loop that saves each frame of the planet and output all the frames in the form of a movie. Just like last time, we will first start by initializing a struct array for the movie frames. We will use 100 for the loops. Then we will hide the figure again by setting F visible to off. Next, let's move on to the loops. Instead of plotting at a single time step, we will let the plotting happen from 1 to 100 in a for loop. Now, during each loop, the script plots the entire solar system at a timestamp, and it also means that it is plotting one frame of the movie. So now, at the end of the loop, we can add getFrame. This stores the picture information for each frame in the array. I'm also adding CLF here since I don't want to have all the planet plots appearing altogether. After the loop has been completed, we can set F visible back to on. This allows us to see the figure again. We can also now display the saved frames using the movie function. Here I am also going to set it to play 5 times at 10 frames per second. After we hit run and let the program load, this is the result. The frames are played just as they were recorded in the loop at the specified 10 frames per second. This is all you need to get started with animating plots in MATLAB using the functions getFrame and movie. To quickly review, once you know what kind of animation you are looking for, simply come up with how each frame of the movie might look like, and then plot these frames and use getFrame to capture these into a struct array. This array can then be played using the movie function at a specified FPS. Thank you for watching the video, and I wish you the best of luck on your animations.